customers tonight. So we'll start the record button. Uh, feedback's not too bad, so I won't mute everybody, but if I get, if I get feedback, if I mute you, just unmute yourself to talk. So who's the first one that would like to share a wee story tonight? Um, from the catalogs or from the online? from demonstrations, from in the box, from demonstration at the door, from team building, whatever you want to share. Janet, your grin is making me pass out. You can start. <laughs> right, okay, Lynn, I've been out doing deliveries today and um, I decided that I was going to do something I don't normally do. And <laughs> I put some lipstick on from our lovely beauty range. <laughs> And I painted my nails this morning as well. And I was really impressed at how quick the nail varnish actually dried. Um, so I took the clear one out with me today and I've actually been painting one nail from my customers that wanted me to do it. And while I was talking to them on the doorstep, I then said, now feel your nail. And they were absolutely astounded at how quickly it dried. Now, because I've worn the lipstick and because I took some lipstick and some um, nail varnish with me, I've ended up selling three things of lipstick and four bottles of nail varnish. Now, and all I had to do was wear it and actually show it. show it. And the great thing about actually painting one of their nails is when I walked away, if they didn't order any, then they're going to go inside and they've got one shiny nail. So it will be a them. <laughs> it's an excellent idea. Well done. I mean, I don't know what that equates to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell the nail polish removal kit. <laughs> <laughs> I make the money out of the other side. <laughs> you can go right after everybody who's doing the doorstep demonstrations. That's great, Janet, but we were talking more and more about, I mean, I know Tracy's not on tonight, but Tracy um, does a lot of door-to-door -door demonstrations, and what we mean something by demonstrations, Janet doesn't normally wear lipstick. So our customers would probably know, say right away, oh, you're wearing lipstick, or she points point out. Um, and, but, like, uh, Tracy just takes duvet covers or products that are there in your box for delivery, to the customers, you might have a duvet cover for number 20, show it to the other people. We do get a lot of additional sales just by showing people the products. So thanks for sharing that, Janet. Anybody else? Oh, okay. can I just say? Yes, George? Yeah. Well, I've just, as I say, I've just joined, you know, and now, um, all thanks to Kate and that, you know, and, uh, I can't share any stories. I've not done anything yet. That's all right. But Unfortunately, so but what I can do is um, I just want to thank everybody for the thanks and all that that I got on Facebook when I joined. It was amazing. Brilliant. Thank you for, for recognising that because everybody's great and I love to welcome people. But these stories are for you, George, because you've just I know that. So the stories that we're sharing, Shannon, you've just got started, but you said at the beginning there that it's been going really well. How long have you been in? Um, well, we've been doing it for three days now. This is my third day. Mm -hmm. And I've had an order of catalogues through yesterday. Huh? Um, I've already given 10 out. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got, I think, it's about five more people that have asked me for one. Um, I'm going to go door to door. I was going to do it tonight, but I'm shattered. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go and give some more out door to door. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, just, just to try and rein more people in, like on my page, I think I've got about 277 members so far. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Um, awesome. And I've obviously to advertise the products i've just been doing live videos well i just thought do you know what bugger it let's do it 
Um, I started doing the live video. I did my first one last night. I basically went through the catalog and I was pinpointing certain things and saying like, oh, look at this, you know, and stuff like that. And I was explaining how to do orders and stuff like that. And uh, tonight I have done cleaning products because I made an order through the credit and I ordered myself some cleaning products. Um, and I've basically done demonstrations tonight. Um, if you want to go on my page and go and have a look, you can. I will definitely um, after the training of that. So it's your Facebook group. You'll need to add me to it. Um, yeah, so I'd love to do that and share share them with yeah. you if you don't mind. Because someone's so brand new, it's so brave. But when you first logged in, you said to me, it's going really well. I'm really excited. So have you managed to achieve sales for that? Yeah. Five minutes after she set up her Facebook group, she's like, oh my God, I've got an order. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. That's what I can say. Well done, Shannon. Well done, well Shannon. Done. Absolutely brilliant. You know, the business works if you work it, but it takes people exactly. like yourself to follow through. That's all it is. It's just following through. And it's what I'm going to talk about tonight. We'll get some more stories at the end because it is five past. We'll, share, we'll, we'll, we'll get um, some more stories at the end because I do think the stories are one of the most important parts of it. Just a quick hi, everybody I missed. Sorry that I missed you to say hi. It'll be a collective hi at the same time. Um, just to share the screen. Um, make sure my um, training is the right one. Thanks, <coughs> chain in. Let me just get the slideshow organised. Um, slideshow from beginning. Um, did you find my I've went brain dead? Why can I not see it? That's because I'm not clicking on slideshow from beginning. Tonight's tune in. If you're new, this is section five teach, but don't worry about it because if you're new, the training as you can see at the top is how to get a new distributor off to a fast start. Uh, once you understand how the Actually, I forgot to mute. I'll just mute everybody just for the duration of the training. Uh, it just saves any um, unwanted background noise because we record this um, to put on the site. Allow, you can unmute yourself, but if you've got any questions, I'd prefer you held them to the end. Right, that was a bit of housekeeping I forgot to do. Um, so if you're new, this will be, you just look at it from a slightly different angle. But we have a saying in this business that this business is what we call relationship marketing. So it's really, really important to find out as much as possible about the person that you're speaking to. Get to know your new team member instead of just chatting on Messenger if they want to get started. Be brave, pick up the phone, give them a call. You can call them on Facebook Messenger, which is nice and easy. But it really starts from the moment they show an interest in the business. Because the team building, we get, we do generate a lot of inquiries, we generate a lot of interest, and there's a lot of people will say they want to get started. So the way that we can identify the true people who really want to go forward with the business is showing an interest in them and find out more about them uh, so that we can see exactly what the business can do for them, exactly what they're looking for. Um, this is covered in a section for sponsor how to follow up. Uh, not going to cover that in full tonight. But what are the circumstances? What are they looking for? What was the reason they responded to the advert? Um, what time are they able to commit to the business? What sort of income are they looking for? Uh, so the most important part is to build that rapport. The second part is to never assume that the people you sponsor will want to take the building of a business as serious as you do. Everybody's different and it's actually a common mistake. Um, if you ask them, you know, a common mistake that people make is assuming that everybody who joins wants exactly the same as you. Uh, so it's really, really important that you find out what they want to achieve from it. If this is their goals, uh, then act accordingly. If they just want to earn their sale four or five hundred pounds, retail the products, we can show them how to do that. If they want to earn more, we can show them how to do that. If they want to build a team and earn even more, 
they can show them how to do that. But it's really, really important not to make the mistake and just assume that people want the same as you. The facts of the matter are, most people join for an extra 50. And I say now, with, with this business, the retail profit's higher. So 50 is 60 pound a week is easy, achievable. And some people just don't ever want to retail the products. And that's fine. <laughs> You'll find the majority of your business will be made up of people who are happy to make four or five hundred pounds a month. Uh, but some people do change their minds when they can see what can be earned from the team building. And that's why it's important to plug them into the training system and to share these success stories that we started to share at the beginning of the training. It's called ex expose them to the business, involve them in the business, and then some people upgrade. So what I'm going to go through tonight is how to get a new person um, started, how to get them earning money. So it starts by explaining to them the ways that you can make money. They can retail uh, to make money or you can sponsor, retail and sponsor. Now, the exciting thing about the retail side of the business uh, is the amount of opportunities you just heard um, Janet talking about selling lipstick and nail varnish just by taking them out while she was doing deliveries. You heard Shannon talking about selling products uh, and she's only been in the business three days online and doing demonstrations. So the retail with the side of the business, there's lots of opportunities and I'll cover them. Sponsoring is sharing the opportunity with others and building a team. But what are their thoughts on building a team? Now or in the future, do they want to just retail the products or are they interested in developing it further for more income? So once you find that out, the next thing you want to do is you want to send them a welcome email. Hopefully you'll have chatted to them on the phone, you might have got a Zoom call, but at the worst possible scenario is you can do this on Messenger, but I much prefer to make that call, get in touch with them. But send them the welcome email, and it's really important that they read this. One of the things I've learned with years of experience in this industry is people don't always do what you want them to do. You send them an email, and nine out of 10 don't read them. You send a video, and quite a lot of people don't watch them. So we have to bear that in mind, know that that's the situation, and we're in a business where we just be repetitive. We repeat, we repeat, we repeat. And you can imagine being a school teacher, teaching the ABC and then the DEF. You may want to do an introduction video for your new team members if you feel a bit brave. I think this is a great idea, especially for those that you can't contact on the telephone. Um, and get them. make sure you get them to add you as a Facebook friend so you can add them to the support groups. You heard George saying tonight how chuffed he was with the welcomes that he got to the group. So the support group is really important and it's really important to welcome them to the group and it's important for us to join in, and most of you do. So, points to cover in your welcome email. The support system. It's a simple system that I will take you through a step at a time. The ways to make money, which I just covered, retail and sponsor. But let's look at the retail. This is something that people really can. The exciting thing is, with the addition of the online People can increase their retail income with not really a great deal of effort. The catalogue side of the business is the most successful. It's extremely successful, but it can have time restraints, whereas the online side of the business has no time restraints. You can't really knock a door with a catalogue at midnight. Um, and although I know somebody who was an ex-copper who used to tiptoe around really late at night, if you came to my door at late at night and the dog started barking, mm -hmm. so you know it's more limited to when we can go out. So we can retail online, and there's as you heard Shannon saying she's got the books out to her family or friends. She's starting to collect orders. We can do the, then build a huge customer base with the catalogs door to door. It takes three to five months to get yourself a really good customer base. 
and you can do those, those demonstrations while you're building that catalog customer base just simply by using products that you already have. And I promise you, Janet sold five products today. Um, you will sell just exactly the same as if you do demonstrations in your online shop and teach your new team member to do this. And I'm going to go through it steps at a time because they don't do everything at once. This is just me saying that what's in your welcome email. The welcome email is like a guideline to everything that you're going to be going through with them. Uh, online product demonstrations, online parties and events, um, and we're going to take them through the steps one at a time. And there you see it. Look at all the different ways that we can retail the products. We can present the catalogs, we can post them, we can give them to friends and family, we can do parties, we can do demonstrations at the door, we can do them online, and you just have to select what you can fit in. As I said, the thing that excites me is the online side of it is actually really simple to do. It's not that time consuming the things that we're going to teach you. It is just the matter of doing them. It is doing them. So I think this is a bit of repetition. Explain a little bit about how their income can grow simply by sharing the opportunity. I have a favorite saying, facts tell, stories sell. So soon, very soon, because this is the very first month of Eve MK, we're going to have stories and checks to show. So I like to show the stories and the check. Let the, let the proof be in the pudding. So we're going to have them very soon. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on these stories, just to explain how their income can grow by building a team. So just a little bit of an example of what I say. It doesn't have to be parrot fashion. Just a quick welcome. You know, our goal is to help you achieve your goals. I'm here to help train support you and get your business up and running. We have a simple system and I'm going to take you through it a step at a time. And that is what you have to do. We run weekly trainings and webinars every Wednesday at 9 p.m. and monthly trainings. I'll send you the details of the next meeting. Well done, George and Shannon for being on here tonight. You can come along or tune in to the recording on Facebook, the Team Rhino Support Group. I don't like to tune them into the recording. You know yourself, it's much better if people tune in live, but it's better than not seeing it at all. Uh, some people have um, different commitments, work or what have you. Where the trainings can be found, what the password is, and how we're going to take them through that step-by-step -step guide. So I will do a checklist at the end. So step one is to start selling online straight away. It takes a few days for your books to come, so you can get your online shop up and running on Facebook straight away. So the catalogs are going to take two or three days to arrive. Uh, Shannon, I know, has already done that. Everybody's praising her. She's done absolutely fantastic. Uh, but you can help your new team member get that shop up and running within an hour. And I promise you, if they're available, that shop will be up and running within an hour. If they're not available, I arrange to speak to them at a the time they are, and you'll guarantee they'll be up and running within an hour. Send them the first video, how to set up your online shop and promote to friends. Do not tag them in the Rhino group and say, this is the video that you need to watch. That is not working one-to-one. -one. That is just throwing information at people. You've got to visualize yourself that you are their one-to-one -one coach, like a driving instructor. You are there by their side going through it with them. So you get to send them the video, did you watch the video? Keep in contact, did you watch the video? Um, have you started to get your shop up and running? If you'll know anyway, because we asked them to add you as admin. I just want to go back there. But recognize each accomplishment. If they've got their shop up and running, that's fantastic. Get their cover photograph up, that's great. Now what you want to do, Add in the products, make sure you are admin. That's how we can guide and teach them uh, through the stages of the business. I mean, some people do pop up products, for example, without a frame on it. Um, so just so we can guide them 
um, but they can get that done literally straight away. And there's two short videos on the support site, uh, how to set up your Facebook shop and promote to friends and how to sell on Facebook buy and sell groups. It's important they watch the videos all the way through and I repeat it there again, you are by their side. It isn't, here's the video, and then contact them in two or three days later. Now, I don't mean physically by their side. You don't have to meet them face to face. You don't have to be doing a Zoom. And you don't have to be there when they're setting up their group. But Facebook's an amazing tool. You can Facebook message them. Fantastic. I can see you've got your shop up and running or have you managed to watch the video? Just whatever question, you've got to guide them through each step. Now, the shop can be up and running really quickly and they can be selling on the buying and selling groups before their books can arrive. How do I know that? Because I teach it and people do it, it works. Because if you add yourself to half a dozen groups over two or three days, that's still 18 groups that you can promote your products on. So if you're putting any products into your own shop as a new team member, you might as well share it on any buying group sales that you can. And that video is video number two. So you're going to receive 50 free books and, <clears throat> your new pimp, and we're going to teach them how to use these books wisely to generate sales, as Shannon has been doing and following the system. So you want again to send them the video how to make the most of your free books. Same scenario, communicate with them, ask them how they're getting on with their list. Who's the first set of people they're going to give the books to? Have you got your list? Who are you going to put them out to? You heard Shannon without me even asking, saying that she put them out to X amount of people. She planned to put them out to another batch and then go and door to door tomorrow. It's all plan for we need to help our new person plan and if you're a new person watching then you need to plan <laughs> and follow the plan but it's, it's who, who have you who have got the books out did they manage to collect them and quickly how did they get on and just give them encouragement and praise every step of the way if they're doing the jobs recognize them and um, but i would say to aim for 150 for a free delivery but that depends how quickly you get that 150 in sales because you do get another 100 free books. So it depends on people's circumstances. Uh, some people get a big wave of sales from their online shop from friends and family. And some people like my friend Debbie get nothing. So it depends on a little bit of what you get in those early stages. If you're not hitting the 150 quickly, just pay for a delivery and get those free books because the quicker the free books can get out there. So you as a sponsor are guiding your new person. But before your 100 free books arrive, you want to then show them the video. Now there is a lot of videos, there's a lot of teaching, there's a lot of training, but once you've learned that, you're off. You know, it's just one little step at a time. But there is only a half a dozen ways to retail the product and you're just learning them one at a time and each are simple and the same with the new person you're just teaching them one at a time and each are simple so now what you want to do is you want to watch the video how to build a strong customer base with catalogs door to door now what i will say is 100 to 150 books is not a great deal of books for building a really decent customer base because we recommend you target a minimum of 250 pounds on a weekly basis why because we know it pays you well and we know it can be achieved and we've got a system that we can teach you how to do that but you may want to encourage them to buy maybe 50 or 100 books so they've got a decent amount of books to work with to make sure they hit that target the books are cheap and the profit should easily pay I think they're about five pounds or something for the books. So at this point, you'll be emailing them everything they need for their catalogs. I don't email that in the welcome email. I email it when they need it, a day before the catalogs arrive, maybe two. But you send them all the ten templates, the video on how to build their customer base, and always, always for the catalog retail, door-to-door, -door, use a weekly planner. 
What we teach is to help them plan the first three weeks in the business. These, all these tips I'm giving you, if you're a new person, because I'm really talking from a teaching point of view, um, just follow the system that uh, your, your person will take you through. It does work. It'll make you four, five, six hundred pounds within a month or two if you follow what we're teaching in that. We can guarantee. But they have a target. It's really, really important when you're working with a new person. Yes, their targets are important, but also we can guide them because we know the business, we know the incomes, we know what can be achieved, we know we can work out what their circumstances are. I would say a minimum, a thousand pounds door to door is achievable. If not in your first full month, definitely in your second month. And as I say, always aim for a free delivery. With a new person, I would take the opportunity quite frequently to try and explain to them how easily they could get a platinum account. That's a 35% account with just a tiny wee investment and maybe two, two weeks profit invested in the business. I'll give them 35% instead of 25%. And that makes a massive difference. It's £100 if you're talking about £1,000 in sales. If you do another thousand online, there's another um, £350 if you're using the catalogue products. So, you, you know, a thousand online, thousand with the catalogues, your new person can be earning £700 in a month. That's phenomenal. And the great thing is, that is not bursting the bank, working your socks off. Yes, it's putting a plan together. Yes, it's a consistent activity plan. And yes, you're juggling a little bit because they're learning a few things at once, but everything gets into a routine and it is all about building up a strong customer base. I recommend to help them to kickstart their business with a party. You can do it for them, offer it or, you know, I've offered to do parties, but if you want a party, you have to actually physically come at me and say, let's get it going. This is the day I want to offer to host an event for them um, or and tell them your, that your upline will do it. <laughs> Sorry, Jane and Kate and all you leaders out there. <clears throat> One, it helps to introduce their new business. And I've read that Disney read, right? It, it helps, I can see the, the, the grammar error there. It helps to introduce the, the new, their new business to their friends, family, and everybody they know on Facebook. It will generate sales for them to get them off to a fast start. How exciting is it? Look how excited Shannon is tonight because she's been in the business two or three days and she's getting sales already. So the more sales we can get for them, the more excitement, the more money they're going to make, the more they're going to believe in the business and it will work for them. And um, can, you can also use these parties to create an interest in the opportunity that is available for an additional income. We can introduce them to the opportunity. Uh, so once you've got your online shopping up and running, I would be happy to host an event for you. Oops, <laughs> my, my batteries just said, please charge me. <laughs> I forgot to plug the charger in. Um, but once they've, got a, once they've got a few sales under the belt and some team members, they're sure to get off the flying start. So these parties can be very, very powerful. And I don't know if Louise Rennick's on tonight, but Louise Rennick sells quite constant through Facebook parties, as many of you do sell through the in-the-box demonstrations. Yeah, I'm going to have to, once I've got an order, explain the order procedure again. Uh, this take another opportunity to discuss if they can raise the funds, more profit. Many people don't absorb this properly when they first register. It's a lot to take in. Everything's a lot to take in. And then we're adding in the mixed standard account, platinum account, 25%, 35%, uh, cash, if you pay cash, blah, blah, blah. So it's, like, it's repetition. So you're ready to order. I'm saying, you know, is there any bill that you've got to pay that you can borrow the money, pay that order cash, then you get 35% and make more profit. Let's put some of the profit into your wallet 
and build up credit so you get more profit. And you will find at this stage some will choose to pay up front. And if they want to change, we can speak to Liz Harper to organise that. It's not too complicated. But we talked about our first Viva MK income story. This is your new person's opportunity to create an income story. Now, for the new person who's watching tonight, what is an income story? Well, we build the business on real stories. That saying that I said earlier, facts tell, uh, facts tell stories sell. We could give you all the facts in the world of how wonderful the business is, but real stories, real income stories are what sell the business. And your new person, their very first month is the only chance that they get. It's the most important. This is where they'll create their very first ever Viva MK income story, and they'll use that income story for the rest of their career in Viva MK if they're building a team. In my first month, I earned £700 or £500, or uh, Janet Lyle is targeting 1000 on her retail, and she might share some stories at the end. Do what it takes to help them achieve £1,000 for the catalogues and 1000 online, and that says inline, little spelling error. And it can and has been achieved in the previous industry. Similar products range, it can be achieved, and I've got the system that will show you how to do it. <clears throat> and people are achieving. <clears throat> Why? To put it simply, because it will make between 450 and 550 part-time income in the product, and that is me basing it on selling online specials. If, if you do £2,000 selling catalogue products only at 35%, you would, or 25%, you would make 500 at 35, you would make £700. And, that, and I have had people doing that. So that is what we want to teach. If, if everybody who joins can make between five and seven hundred pounds in the first months in the business, one that's a fantastic show, story to share with friends, family, and the, everybody in the Facebook, but it's going to put a fantastic income in their pocket, and that is what the business is built on. If we teach enough people to make money, we're going to make money. But it's all about creating independence. But you work for your new distributor. And then you just, that, that could be for months. I'm still working with people in the business because they develop and grow. If all they want to do is retail and they're happy with their, you know, five, six, seven hundred, whatever they're earning from the retail, um, then that's fine. That's then created the independence that they want. But you keep working with them until they achieve the results they're looking for. Training is an ongoing process and eventually they will have uh, to find information for themselves and start a personal development program. But in the early stages, we're the primary school teachers. We take them through these basic steps and then they go into secondary school, high school, college, university. <laughs> it's similar. Don't just answer a question. Tell them where to find the, the, the information. Or you can answer it. But I say, well, the answer to that is in the detail video. Uh, you know, if but let them know the answer. You know, because I'm not going to tell you. You must watch the whole video, but tell them the answer. But let them know that that is in the training video. Encourage them to plug into the meetings, the trainings, and the webinars. You know, your income will grow by plugging into them. And more importantly, all the answers are in the system, and this is what creates independence. If we keep answering everything for everybody, we'll have a dependent team. A codependent team. You want an independent team who can do it for themselves. So basically, the steps to success for a new person: retail, catalogs, online and offline demonstrations, everything that's there. Learn the system. Communication is absolutely paramount. It's the key to success, and share the opportunity. And these are some guidelines for what we know will produce an amazing retail income and we're talking about generating incomes of five to six seven hundred pounds on a month i was going to say four weekly but some monthly basis so by posting for example three products into the buy and sell groups and sharing them on 50 groups 
for three or four months, you'll start to build up a strong online customer base. You may want to present books, but you have to present a minimum of 100, 250 for a few months. And if you're posting, we recommend 400. Now, that's no 400 books at once. That might be 200 books twice a week <laughs> or three. I would say 400 books, 600 if you want really high detail. I think 400 is a really respectable month. Within 46 months, you would have an amazing customer base. Uh, and ask the person who invited you along exactly what the difference between blanket drop-in and customer base is. But it's a lot more money. But it's an established fact that people who regularly contact their sponsor, their successful upline, and plug into the meetings are far more successful than those that don't. That is a fact. Communication in those early stages, totally, totally paramount. And look at all the different ways, and I haven't named all of them. We've got WhatsApp, we've got you know, Snapchat, we've got Instagram. There's hundreds and hundreds of ways of communicating. But all it is, it's a little message. How are you getting on? How can I help you? Well done with this. Let's do that. Just taking them through the system a stage at a time. And this is how they learn it. Uh, and I'll finish with a checklist in a minute for you. Speaking to their sponsor daily in the other stages, reviewing the stories and the trainings on the Facebook success groups. There's lots of tips, advice, and trainings on there. Attending your weekly webinars. We do have a monthly workshop, um, and the dates for that, um, they're not on there at the moment because the dates are still to come. Don't worry. We have got our big one on the 16th, but there's more dates coming. Um, and studying, the, it says the workbook, but it's really the sports site, the training videos, and take the action because this is a business where you don't learn unless you are proactive. It's experiential learning. You learn from experience. But the key principle on what the business is built is on duplication. And it's important to point out to your new person, it doesn't matter what your background is, what your education, what your experience, Absolutely anybody can copy this simple system. And more importantly, it's been tried and tested for 20 years. So I'm just going to finish with a new distributor checklist, and this is for the team builders. Uh, so one, welcome email. Two, the webinar and the training dates. Three, the video, how to set up their online shop and go through it with them. Four, how to promote to friends and family. So when they've got their shop up and running, you communicate with them, chat with them about adding their friends, just add everybody in, and then put a wee message up for them. Start adding themselves to the buying and sell groups. And watch the video, how to sell on Facebook buying and sell groups. We're talking about two videos, 20 minutes long here. And all of this can be done before the books arrive or during it, depending on circumstances. Because some people have got all the time in the world, some people are putting it in less time. But certainly within a few days, you can get everything there up and running. How to make the most of your 50 free books. How to build a strong customer base for the catalogues. The ordering procedure and the turn procedure. How to do a what's in the box demo. Keeping your selling group interactive. They've got their selling group up and running. We need to be putting at least 10 products in it every single day. And we need to teach interaction and what's in the box. Every time Jane White does what's in the box, she sells something because she has to phone me up and tell me because she's so excited about it. Arrange a Facebook party or an event. That is so easy to do. And there is a video on that. If you want, you know, go to the resource site. It's there. And there will be a training coming up. I'm going to see if I can maybe talk wee lovely Louise and do the wee training for us. But we do have a training. How to set up, the next part would be into the team building if somebody wants to team build. If somebody wants to only retail, doesn't want to touch the team building, you can stop at nine and just show them how to generate sales. And really, you can generate a lot of sales um, in a part-time basis because of all the ways that we have to do that. Um, so how to set up a Facebook sponsoring group and page if they want to team build. How to sponsor on Facebook and just go back. And that is it. The system, it looks quite a lot here, 
But the, what I'm showing you tonight is talking about generating really large incomes and each part is done a step at a time. So just before I go, as you know, we have our millionaires training in Neil. It's on Saturday the 13th of October. Lucky for some. The best Western Hillcroft Hotel in Whitburn. It starts at 12 noon and it finishes at 4.30. However, this is our Christmas one. I know, it's, I know it's early for Christmas, but it's actually late for VVMK Christmas because we launched our Christmas products about four weeks ago. But we, we usually always have a millionaires at Christmas time. We're a Christmas meal. It is a Christmas meal. And that will be 6.30 till late. Now, the tickets are £10 for the training. Uh, or if you pay in advance, if you pay at the door, we charge another couple of pounds because we really want to encourage people to pay in advance. Simple as that. Uh, the meal has to be booked and paid in advance. I have to give them exact numbers. Uh, you may be able to add the odd extra one at the end. We have managed that in the past, but you know, not many. So I would recommend that you do get them um, booked up. Get yourself booked up if you want to go. We've got loads of people coming. That is really exciting. So I'm just going to uh, stop the share. Stop the recording, I think. Well, now we've got some more stories to stop at the end. Just uh, stop share. How uh, is not stop share? And then we'll see if anybody's got any questions or more stories to share. See who's chatting to me there. I thought I only get 53 books now. Yeah, but as, and this, as, that's what somebody said the other day, Joe. Um, however, um, I seen it. Um, and a recent thing from Michael. <laughs> Can't even I'll find I'll, I've seen it tonight. It was his, his questions and answers from yesterday, I think it was mentioned again. That was it. It was the question and answer. So whether that's been changed, I think maybe where we've got it muddled up is we thought it's been it's the, the 150 no more, but we didn't realise it just went to 150 down to 100. And the reason for that is probably because there's so many more products in that one book, isn't there? Well, I, do, I don't know. I, I, I heard somewhere, I don't know, can anyone hear me? Yep. Yeah. I, don't, I can't remember where I heard it now, but I can remember, because I remember I mentioned it to you, because I didn't get any, I, well, I missed an email or whatever it was that said it was down to 50. So somewhere along the way, I've, had, I've heard yeah, that it's got down to 50 free catalogues. Instead of 150, I know it went from 200 free catalogs down to 150, but they were getting 150 of the beauty and 150 of the Christmas and 150 of the prime, the first catalog if there was any left. Which is probably why it's doing 100 because they're getting a lot. They're getting a lot, and there'll be a lot of weeks. I mean, to be fair, there's no stipulation on a minimum order value. Oh, there's a lot of books going out there. I, I don't dispute, I'm not having a problem with it, but I, I, mean, that. Uh, I knew you were. I knew you were. Obviously, right. just a case of understanding is it 50 free or is it 100 free? Well, if it's 100 free, is it Michael 50 said free? In, Michael said in his quest, question and answers it's 100. Yes, right, so is that 50 of the beauty and 50 of the Christmas or just 100 of the Christmas? Ask Michael. Right, okay. Can I jump I, in? That's a good point. I actually didn't know, Joe. I assumed it was 100 of both. Because but that's, if, it's 100, if it's 50 of each, then that's essentially 50 catalogue packs. Yes, you You're right. So that, we'll, 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 we'll get that clarified. Ursula, yeah? Yeah, the, the clarification on that, uh, the Q&A is it's 50 catalogues of whichever catalogue are currently in stock. And then on your first order, it's 100 catalogues of whichever catalogue are in stock. That's right. That's it's, exactly it's right. Not I'm just looking up Okay, well, what if they're both in stock? No, it's, it's either one. They, they're not right. going to send 50 of, of both. Right, okay. It's 50 and then 100. So it's like with the Christmas catalogue. It'd be, it'd be silly to send out the beauty catalogue. So it'd be the, unless that unless they run out of the Christmas catalogue, yeah. which I can't see that happening because it'd be silly to run out of that one. Yeah. So it's going to be a hunt. So they get 150 free catalogues, 50 free to start, 100 extra when they place their first order. Yes. Right. Gordon, the question answered yesterday, but what we might clarify from my is do they get to select or do they automatically send the customers once? But just what I would recommend a new distributor, but also recommend. 
maybe investing in some of the makeup catalogs I've had a look through it and it's really cheap you yeah they're cracking catalogs the makeup of course, it makes sense to send out 150 of the Christmas catalogue because it's coming up to Christmas. Then when they place their first order, they can get, they can Absolutely. order, I mean, they're only 10 pence each for Christ's sake, aren't they? If you can't buy 100 or 150 beauty catalogues at 10 pence each. I agree. I agree. And I just think there's such good value. But I'm actually dying to try some of the products in there. I know Me too. Joe, I know Joe will be worried. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go out and put lipstick and nail varnish on and go. <laughs> well, a lot of funny stories if that starts to happen. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm wearing lipstick and nail varnish. <laughs> can, can I, I add to the I'd say the booby cover instead, eh? Yeah, Lynn, can I just add something with what Joe's just said? Um, when I was actually on the doorstep today talking to one of the wives, um, her husband comes, she said, he says, Oh, me, I remember you telling me this, go for that. There's, there's, no, there's no point in talking to Yvonne about nail varnish. She says, you, you need to be talking to me. He says, I'm the one that wears nail varnish. <laughs> and, do you know, I was going to say, I've actually seen him with oh, nail varnish. Thank you. Good God. I was going to say, and he tends to have different colours on the, the different fingers. Wow. And uh, I was going to say, he was what a modern great. age we live in, eh? Yeah, and yeah, you know, I told you so. Hey. I was going to say, <laughs> I, I think the guy's in probably in his late sixties, maybe early seventies. Nice. <laughs> probably got a thumb and a boob tube on underneath everything as well, wouldn't he? <laughs> well, <laughs> if it sells us, that's the reason he wants the matching lipstick. Yeah. But <laughs> any other detail stories or stories that anybody wants to share with us tonight? Yes. Out of that bubble. Well, while I'm talking, I might as well tell you something else as well. <laughs> <laughs> well tell us how much retail you've done so far this month. This month? Um, oh, now you're asking. Um, I, th I was going to say, I, no, I think it's about £2,400 or thereabouts. I've got £2,100 showing. Right, okay. We're heading for the 3,000. We're going for the 1,000 check. Can I ask, how many hours? That's all customer base, is it? Mostly. I've done a little bit of Facebook selling. Um, not a huge amount, but in fairness... And you've um, also got some uh, online sales. Yeah. Blanket dropping? Did you not do a bit of blanket dropping? I did a bit of blanket dropping. Um, that, to be honest with you, hasn't produced a very great result. Um, and even my customer base has been a little bit disappointing in the last week. But um, I might have done 2,400, but out of the month, we probably have been away for nearly half of it. So it is only really half the month. So can I ask then, from your customer base, I don't know how many customers you've got, but from your customer base, how many hours does it take you in a week to service your customer base and do that two grand, or in a month, to do that two, two and a half grand, three grand's worth of sales? Um, I've got about 800 customers or thereabouts. Um, she it, don't get up before half past nine, ten o'clock in the morning, but she works does. quite late at night, you know? Um, yeah. She has been talking too much, but it's just, you're talking about two weeks worth of work to earn a grand. Yeah, um, effectively. But you're working but five hours a day, what, that, right? What That's I've okay. Got, See, but when you're, when you're talking to people, it's good to be able to say to people, you know, look, we've got Janet in our group. She's doing three grand a month in sales. She's worked hard in the first few months, got her customer base. She's now doing 10 hours a week, doing three grand of sales, earning 600 quid, 700 quid, whatever it is. She's yeah. done more than 10 hours, but that's because she's yapped at every door. But you tell them, Jan. <laughs> so how many hours would you say it takes you to service your customer base of 800 people? Um, I, I reckon I probably, I'm out dropping catalogues. If I'm taking about 200 catalogues out, it probably takes me about six hours on the customer base. To do all 800? No, not all at once. No, that, um, that's 600 about uh, four, times a, four times a month. And how many hours do you say? About about six hours. About six hours to take them out and similar to pick them up because they're quite well trained, my customers, and most of them leave them outside. 
Right. And then, um, it does take longer when you're actually demonstrating on the doorstep to deliver, but it's worth it. Um, okay, but so you're saying it takes you, you're working, you're, you're working 12 hours a week to service, to service over the course of a month, it takes you 12 hours a week to service your 800 customers. Around that, yeah. Okay, that's not bad, is it? 12 hours a week. So funny because Steve joins in and Steve likes to say about 48 hours a month, so you, you, you both were on exactly the same. So you're talking 12, maybe a bit more because she's demonstrating on the doorsteps with delivery. Yeah, that's okay. It's just that as average. If you're looking at 40 hours a month, 10 hours a week, 48 hours a month, and you're doing three grand worth of sales, that's not killing yourself, is it? 10 hours a week. Very good. Yeah. The, the other thing, um, last week I actually delivered a product to a lady that I'd actually sold to on Facebook and I actually met her in a church car park to deliver it and I got talking to her about the business and she said she didn't have time for it but she would tell her two daughters about it. She thinks one of the daughters might actually want to take catalogues out and the other might be interested in doing it on Facebook. I was going to say, well, I was out picking, uh, I was out dropping catalogues yesterday and I got a phone call from the youngest daughter and wanting to know what to do as far as joining. So Steve and I actually spoke to her last night and I don't know whether she's actually signed in today or not, but she She's, she's joining and we're going to try and get her to sponsor her sister as well. Brilliant. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? You know, if you're, that's the good thing about doing a lot of catalogues. You've got a lot of opportunity to speak to a lot of prospects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that was a Facebook sale, Lynn. Well, Facebook sale has three foot rule as well, Janet. Yes. <laughs> Just because it's on Facebook doesn't mean the same, it's exactly the same opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic, you guys are well buzzed up and congratulations, I know you're going to achieve that goal that you set at the very beginning of the month, you shared it with me and now I'm telling everybody because I know I can, because I know she's <laughs> knocking on the door, she's really, she's really there. Sunday, Hello. Yeah, my birthday, Sunday is when the DD is. Just my birthday on that day, the last day of December is my birthday, you know. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I'm only kidding, I don't want to celebrate, it's my age. Right, has anybody got, else, got anything else that they want to share, a positive story? Uh, yeah, we had um, 356 pounds of orders yesterday from 47 catalogues. Fantastic. Uh, good. Yes. fantastic. My order of the day was um, a lady who hadn't, who had not, who had had a clean easy catalogue every month for probably the last year and a half and hadn't bought for such a long time. She, she has bought in the past, of course. Um, I, and the only reason she was still getting a catalogue was because I had to pass her house to get to somebody else's house in her street. Um, so I nearly didn't give her a book this time and I thought uh, she's had, she's had, uh, she had the, first, the, the essentials catalogue the first month we started. She hadn't had a Christmas book, but I thought I'll just I'll give her one more chance. Uh, put a catalogue through, went to pick it up yesterday, and I must admit I was thinking this is this is goodbye time. You know, it's just you know people we we delete customers. They never occasionally when they never know they're deleted. We delete them, you know, very quietly. They never know. But I was purely prepared to go off her driveway for the last time, pick up her book for the very last time, and just wave a polite goodbye silently to her. Uh, except that she's bought two Elf Yourself duvet sets. <laughs> so she's bought, obviously, obviously for the grandkids, she's bought a boy one and a girl one, two single duvet sets, £40. So she'll have to see on my for another while. <laughs> but £356 from 47 books, we thought was uh, quite a good turn for the first shot. I think that's brilliant. Also, yeah. what I do like is the duvies and all these different products being in with the Christmas catalogue, you know, because they do sell excellent. Oh, definitely. The Christmas ones are doing really well. Yeah, Absolutely. The tartan duvies flew off the shelf. And it wasn't yep. just in Scotland. Was it just Scottish for fine tartan? No, not at all. Not they're, at all. They're brushed. They're brushed cotton and very warm, 100% yep. brushed cotton. Yep. <laughs> Anybody else want to share a great story? I Get think I can up. share one, which, if they don't mind me talking again. Yeah, well, um, we let Jeff go first, because he went okay. when you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we got orders for £305 from 56 
um, booked out to customer base, and that's coming tomorrow. Yay! One of them, actually, oh. an, an internet order from Military Torch. So, woohoo! Yay! Get some internet orders as and well, it's building slowly. That's brilliant. Well done. And an in the box demonstration, no doubt, from Jeff tomorrow in his online shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that'll recommendation be that. you probably find that your online demonstrations would be more fruitful in your online shop rather than on your Facebook world. I can understand why you'd want to do them on your world, but if they're in your shop, it's generally an interaction with your customers that you're trying to build a rapport with. So, I would be more inclined to do them in my shop. Okay, I've not had any interaction at all in my shop. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> right. It must be the way I speak. Well, with the, if it's working on the other way, maybe I'm wrong because everything's different. Different strokes for different folks, but it will build up. People, sometimes we get no interaction and we just get built up, build up, build up. It starts to happen. And that is what we've learned. It goes from nothing to something without really realizing it. Anybody else? Well done, Jeff. Jenny? No, sorry, you wanted to share. No, if somebody else wants to go first, that's fine. No, you turn. Okay, it's just a turn. It's just a quick turnaround story, actually. Last month, um, I was still I was delivering to part of my customer base, and I was still on the original uh, the starting catalog with just the hold on, put the thing in with just like the ninety a hundred products in. Um, and when I went around to collect, one of my customers, she's a pensioner, she put a note in with it saying, uh, please don't deliver the catalogs anymore. Um, the range is too limiting, words to that effect. So um, it was could have been easy to just go, okay. But what I did was I phoned her up and I left a message on her answer phone because she didn't answer. So I left a message just saying, I've received your note. I know you've asked me to um, not deliver the catalog again, but just to let you know, this is just a primary catalog. Our range has increased already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deliver a catalog next month anyway, have a look through it. And if you decide then that you don't want it anymore, absolutely no problem, I won't bring it anymore. <clears throat> now I didn't get a reply from her, but I delivered it the following month anyway. And I got an, an, and she ordered. Uh, I don't remember how much she ordered now, but it was over, a, it was over 12 pounds. It was, I think it was around about a 15 pound order. <laughs> But it would have been easy to just not bother taking the catalogue back. Exactly, exactly. Well done. I agree with that because yeah, it was. I saved the customer, didn't I? I just seen a message on chat for George. Was that George? You're still under.